Hello, this is Stefan from Conductor, and welcome to this lecture on learning what is Kafka Streams. So Kafka Streams is a streaming processing library. It's going to allow you to do data processing and transformations within Kafka. So the idea is that we want to take data in and out of Kafka and do some data transformation, data enrichment, fraud detection, monitoring and alerting, these kind of things. So the thing is with Kafka Streams, we're going to code standard Java applications. We will not need to create a separate cluster to deploy these Kafka Streams applications. That makes them also very highly scalable, elastic, and fault tolerant because they leverage a lot of the internal mechanisms of Kafka. It has exactly once capabilities. That means that the data will be transformed and processed exactly once and then written back into Kafka, even in the case of failures, which is really, really good. And it is real-time streaming, so there is one record at a time processing. There is no batching. And it works for any application size, small and really, really large. So if we look at our architecture, we have the sources, Kafka Connect, and then the data goes into a Kafka cluster. But now we're going to focus on the right-hand side of the diagram, which is to have a streams application that will take data in and out of Kafka. And then when we'll be done, we'll put back data into a sync, into a target destination. So all the data transformation and processing that's happening on the right-hand side will be done using Kafka Streams. Now for our example, we're going to do a word count in Kafka Streams. So we want to chain a consumer with a producer to do some stream processing. And this could be very complicated if we have to write our own consumer and our own producer because you have to deal with concurrency, error scenarios, and scaling. So for this, we will use the higher level uh, library called Kafka Streams, which is very, very easy to reuse and write. And we'll take an example from the Kafka documentation on which I will show you I have added a web server to make it compatible with Conductor so that we can set up Conductor alongside the Streams application to monitor it and reset it. So the source to the modified code is on our GitHub at Conductor slash Kafka Streams work count topology. So I will see you in the next lecture to have a play with Kafka Streams and show you the power of stream processing and how Conductor integrates with it.